What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Coop's House. I'm in the shop this afternoon working on our Chevelle build. Uh, we weren't super productive last week because we had a paint project over here we had to finish up for a friend. Uh, his truck's been here for a while. We've been working on that. So we had to get it painted so he could get back to driving it and get it out of here. Um, so last week, you guys remember, we test fitted the wheel tubs and we finished welding out the driver's side floor pan. We still have a, one half of the pan to replace on the passenger side. Uh, but I have a couple hours this afternoon, so I decided I was going to get out here and try to knock out those wheel tubs, uh, get those permanently fit in, and get ready to actually mount them. Um, so I've got the car jacked up, sitting on jack stands, and that way I can undo the coilovers from the rear end, drop the rear end, and I'm able to get the wheels and tires out because they're tucked in there, so you can't take them off with the rear end bolted in. So I got to drop it to be able to get those out. So not going to waste any time because I need to get this done today so that we can focus the rest of the week on everything else that has to be done on the car because we want to get as much done as possible this week due to the fact that we are now to the point where we only have a month and a week to finish this thing, get ready for racing season. So we got to get to work. So now that the wheels and tires are off, now for the fun part of putting this stupid wheel tub in, taking it out, putting it in, and taking it out, and repeating that process five million times to get it to fit. Things I'm not looking forward to. Go. So that was almost a pointless time lapse. It actually went in, sorry, trying to make this as smooth as possible. Actually went in, fit pretty well. Um, it's not exactly level on the edges, but it's close and actually looks pretty decent. So, let me come in here to show you how it fits the quarter. Not as tight as I wanted it, but honestly, not terrible overall. Our gaps aren't insane. That one's a little ugly, but what do you do? So, that one's in. So, actually, all we have to do now um, is we're gonna pull that one out and sit it down over the other one after we put it together and basically mark it out backwards so that way um, we have kind of a, a rough fit with the other one and then all we have to do is just kind of fine-tune it from there so not bad
so I didn't record throwing it in there, but that one's in, sort of. Um, so you guys remember I had to cut this across here, just like I did over there to make it fit a little better. That's how it's still got to pick up, and it fits a little more snug than that. But got to do the same thing over here. So I'm fixing to get the grinder out. Go ahead and cut back what I need to cut back there, and then uh, that way this thing will fit on up in there, and we can figure out kind of exactly where we're at. So. Alright, so I got the other one fitted in. Um, they're pretty well even across the top. I'll be honest, this one fits nowhere near as good as this one uh, against that quarter panel. We've got a few extra gaps, things like that, but once all the aluminum interior is in with the quarter door panel things and everything in there, it's going to cover all of that. Uh, so as long as we get it even up top, you know, across here, then I can live with that. Uh, my OCD killing me because you know it doesn't fit quite as good as I wanted it to. But you know what do you do? It's my first time doing this, so did the best I could with it. But it's uh, it's not great, I'll be honest. But they're in anyway, so we can do a little more fitting. I'll show you guys the front, what it looks like up here. So it's in. So even across there. This one will push up a little bit more so it'll be more flat like that one. But uh, yeah, That one definitely definitely fits better than this one. But it is what it is. Live and learn. We may uh, put some new ones in later. Or, you know if we can find somebody that does this and uh, we may hire somebody to put some put some good ones in it but for now this is what we got so anyway it's all good. Alright, so since the tubs are fitted, kinda, uh, I'm gonna call it a day because I'm tired. Um, but anyway, again, there, it's not a great fit, but first time doing this, so I'm just gonna have to ride with it. But, uh, you know, once I put the rest of the aluminum inside the car, I think it's gonna kinda dress that out a little bit. It's not really gonna be that big of a problem. So, um, got some gaffer tape that I'll try to do that seam with, try to dress it up a little bit. But anyway, I'm calling it a day. Tomorrow we'll get back out here. We're going to start roughing in probably the uh, trunk floor and I'll work on the floor pan. Um, so I don't, we'll see how far we get this week. Hopefully it's will start looking better because right now it drives me crazy. See you guys in the morning. All right guys, so uh, Hunter's here today. I'm alive. He is alive, just barely, but he's alive. So, uh, I got the wheel tub fitted in last night, so we're able to actually get started fitting our trunk floor today, so that is going to kind of be our focus for the next few minutes. It's actually, seems like it's going to be pretty simple for us to actually build and put together. It um, always seems simple, when it's, but... But this is Coop's house. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to get working on that, try to get this trunk floor in today, and hopefully get even more done and get past that part. So, uh, for the next few minutes, that's what we're going to work on, so... Let's uh, start cutting and bending some metal, I guess. Yes. So excited.
cutting the right side of the trunk floor because what you guys saw whenever we put that in we actually still had a gap on the wheel tub and we didn't think about that ahead of time um, so we're actually recutting this piece out we're going to notch out all of that so that it actually fits flush on the wheel tub and hopefully fills in a majority of that gap and that hole so that way we're not slinging rubber all inside the trunk because that would just suck so we're recutting this and uh, hopefully this gives us a little bit of a better fit i guess we'll see floor fitted um, it's not like show quality by any means um, you know, this is our first time doing this but it's decent I guess uh, it'll actually look better once it's all riveted in and everything's set in um, we have some more pieces we have to build and put in but overall I mean the floor is in and we can actually start putting our fuel cell and all that stuff in it but um, for now we're gonna take all this back out Wheel tubs are going to come out. We're going to paint the frame and let it sit. And that way, whenever we come back and we start working on this again, we can actually go ahead and put all this in, rivet it in place, and be done. And then go ahead and start plumbing fuel lines, battery cables, things like that. Um, but 
I wanted to do it all in one piece, but I was afraid that it wouldn't uh, wouldn't fit as one piece, wouldn't be able to get it in here. So we did it in three. And like I said, it doesn't look as good as if somebody who did this for a living um, had done it, but we're learning. This is our first shot. So anyway, good enough for me. All right, so we popped the rear end out from under the car. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and clean up all this frame back here with a wire wheel. Um, and just make sure that all, you know, it's all clean. Um, we're gonna hit it with a coat of paint. So that way it's not rusty and nasty looking. Plus we have this crossbar that we added in that, uh, that was, that is bare metal. So it needs to be protected. So I'm gonna shoot all this with some paint and then uh, let it sit and I'm gonna call it for the week until we come back next week and start putting all this stuff back together. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the end of this week's episode. We got quite a bit done this week. Um, actually got some stuff done that we've been trying to get to that it just hasn't worked out for us to actually make it there yet. Uh, but we got the panels actually fitted and built for the trunk floor. Um, turned out pretty decent. It's not like show quality or perfect or anything like that, but it turned out pretty decent. Um, got the rear end pulled out so that we could clean up the frame, get the frame clean. Got a coat of paint on the frame, so the frame is painted. So next week when we come back, we're gonna go ahead, get the trunk panels put back in, get those riveted in place, get those painted and all of that stuff, and then we'll be ready to actually cut out the sump for our fuel cell, get the fuel cell put in so we can start running fuel lines and battery cables and all of that good stuff. So uh, we are that much closer to being done. So big week this week. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you know when we post, and leave us a comment. Um, again, this is a lot of stuff that we're trying for the very first time. So if some of you guys have done this stuff and have some pointers or, or any, any information to help us out to make us better, leave that in the comments below because we do want to hear feedback. So appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you again next week. Deuces.